Hello, Sparkcaster here again, and we are back for episode 20 of Enter the Gungeon, and we have 19 gungers to destroy, and I earned a bunch of uh, hegemony credits, and I unlocked the origani and a new heart container, the heart per I believe it was. So we may now find those in the gungeon. I also freed the ledge goblin, which you might not remember. Um, she was the character that sat to the right in the breach on a ledge with a helmet which you could push so it fell down into the gungeon. And I read up on this because I wasn't sure why she appeared again in a cage. And it turned out that when you push the helmet down into the gungeon, she goes down to get it again. And then you will have a chance to find her in a cage. And every time you do this, uh, she appears further down. And at some point, after doing this a number of times, she will give you the helmet. Uh, because you keep pushing it into the gungeon. Now, I don't know what the helmet does. Uh, so, that is something we'll find out eventually, presumably. Uh, what's this? Smoke bomb. This is a new item. Temporary invisibility. Hmm. That might be something to use on the boss fight. Ah, right. So, hopefully, we get somewhere today. Dang it. Stupid. Ha. Ooh. Oh. Um, I think I'd br rather keep the smoke bomb because it's new. I also accidentally read something interesting concerning the elevators. Because as you probably figured out, when you use the elevator to skip floors, um, in this, in our case right now, currently you can only skip the first floor, which isn't too bad, uh, but you forgo certain items that you would find on the floors you skip. And it turns out that if you skip the first and second floor entirely, mustache, um, you you get given some weapons from this rat, whose name I forget. So Skipping the first floor is not particularly useful. Dang it. A little too late there. But, once we have unlocked the next elevator, we can skip floors and still get an advantage similar to what we would have gotten by going through the floors. I think he it said he could give you up to three items 
and I'm not sure how that works, uh, but it might be so that he he gives you a number of weapons depending on ooh, the Phoenix, depending on how many uh, floors you've skipped. So if you skip the second, the first and second floor, you get one. If you skip the or maybe you get two, or something like that. I don't know. I guess we will find out eventually. So, um, do we buy the... No, we can't afford the heart holster. Let's buy the mustache. Don't think I've had this before. Chance to heal when money is spent. Ah. The power of commerce fills your veins and your follicles. This mustache vertically integrates your purchasing synergies, giving you a chance to be healed on every transaction. Interesting. Not super useful. If I'd known that it if I'd known what it did before I probably would have saved the money but oh well at least now we have learned right of course we get the phoenix when we are up against the boss that is immune to fire because why wouldn't we Dang it. No flawless for us. Kinda wish I had a better weapon right about now. Dang it. This run might not turn out very well. Yeah, could have gone a lot worse. There we go. Still did pretty well considering our lacking loadout. I would say. See how far we get. Oh. Let's. That went pretty well, I suppose. really hate how those shots go around corners, kind of. keep forgetting they can do that. Oh, dear. That was a surprise. At least he got turned into a chicken. I 
if they take damage. It doesn't appear to. Or they have a ridiculous amount of health for a chicken. But more likely it is they don't actually take any damage from bullets. Nice, some health. I do need that. Oh well. I shall consider this kind of a warm up run. At least we learned of one new item, the mustache, which I will probably avoid buying because I don't really think it's worth the price. Hopefully this run will be a little nicer. Probably shouldn't have done that. I keep keep forgetting which enemies lead the shots and which don't. Like these guys, for example, they don't lead their shots at all. But others do. And it's especially tricky when there are a mix of them in the same room. Because you have to dodge staggered shots and non-staggered shots, which kind of compensate for each other. Alright, we have a chest room up there. Should be our first on this run. Dang it. Okay, empty room. That doesn't happen very often. Dang it. So let's see what we have here. Oh. Cartographer's ring. Some floors are familiar. We've had this before. Sometimes reveals the floor. Okay, so it's it's a chance to reveal the layout of the floor when we enter. I presume. Um, like I said, I had it before. I'm not sure if we actually got to see it do anything. Probably because I died too quickly. Looks like we have another chest room there. So... I'm going to buy this preemptively. And I know we might find a key... on the floor somewhere, but... we can save that for the next floor. Um, and it's a good thing I did, because we wouldn't have had time to go get a key. That 
öffnen. Barrel. I think I've had this before. That does trigger the or put out the fire. Which I kind of expected. Oh. Hello. Ah. It is you. So sure you do. Can't really afford anything, unfortunately, except a blank, but hopefully I will not need that. Um, could buy some... Actually, I couldn't buy some armor either. Let's go to the boss. Uh, guess we'll use this because it's reasonably rapid fire. And it stuns, which is nice. And we are facing the Gatling Gall. Yep. seem to affect bosses. They seem to be immune to stuns, at least. Dang it. Alright, made it with one health left. What do we get? We get two keys. Triple crossbow. Pretty sure we've had that before. Um, let's go to the secret floor with these two keys, because why not? We have a decent loadout, I would say. Triple crossbow, regular crossbow, and the barrel. Oh, we got the ring activated, so we have a golden chest, we have a gun muncher, we have a secret room here, and we have a green chest here, and a shop. That was a waste of a piece of armor. I'm not going to go that way. Not sure why I tried to begin with. But I clearly shouldn't have. Fill the barrel because that is the lowest. Uh, 
Alright. would like some help. Quite a lot of help, actually. That was close. Alright, so we have a chest here. Red and gold one, fancy. I'd really like a key to unlock that one. Okay. Not sure what that was. I think I've seen that before once. It was down here. Ah, dang. Dodge right into that. Brick breaker. Huh. Wonder why we unlock that. Let's go back to the breach. Let's see if we have any credits and then we'll probably have time for one more round. Let's stick to the hunter, I think. Can't afford the airstrike. I don't really want the cluster mine, I don't think. Let's have a look up here. No, nothing we can afford here yet. So, let's just head down here again. Let's see if we can find the brick breaker here. I don't think it m it's going to... no. It's not going to say anything about it until we have found it. Well, this is terrible. one of those corner situations again. Turned out well, though. Oh. Ooh. Vulcan Cannon. Well, this is certainly new. Favored by the huge predatory bird that nests in the gungeon. It is a weapon to be feared, indeed. What did it have? Boundless Slaughter and Automatic. So it's basically the Gatling Gull's weapon. Nice. I'm probably going to save that. Let's see how many 800 bullets per approximately. Definitely going to be saving that for boss fights. Because that seems like a good idea. I hope you agree with that. I would say that is a pretty good find. Unless it turns out it's really garbage. 
which, to be fair, is possible. There's the boss. But hopefully it turns out to be a great weapon. Dang it. I'd say things are going pretty well, despite that little mishap just now, for this run. And that... Dang it. crossbow. It's so hard to hit with it sometimes. Like right there. And there. It's really not a long range weapon. I wonder if there is a bow. It would make sense. If there's a crossbow, there would be a bow. There's even multiple crossbows. But the crossbow is still nice. Ah, dang it. Don't have a key for that. Some... Some more floor to explore up here. that. And that bolt went right between those enemies. Oh, nice. So we have enough for full health lying around. Can I shoot you? No. Um, let's see what the shop has to... Actually, I don't think I can afford this. No, it's 25. I can. Let's see if the shop has anything interesting first. Nothing... really that I want. Not... Actually, did we have a chest? Hmm. Actually, I'm going to spend the money on this. So... Dang it. Hmm. This is tricky. Dang it. Oh. Uh, got a tiny bit of money back. That was kind of a waste, but oh well. I blame the rotating blocks in the middle. Alright, so let's take on the boss with our Vulcan cannon. And fittingly, it happens to be the Gatling Gull again. I'm going to skip the intro because we've seen it. So he gets to have some of his own medicine. That was close.
There we go. Flawless. Nice. Turns out the Gatling gull Gatling gun. No. Vulcan cannon. It's pretty good. Um with the help of a couple of blanks, of course. But you are supposed to use those. We get the box, which we unlocked fairly recently. The ultimate in stealth technology. No one is perceptive enough to see through such an elaborate ruse. This is obviously a reference to uh, the Metal Gear series. Um, I guess it conceals, prevents enemies from seeing you. Not sure what the use for that is, really. Dang it. We don't have too many shots left. The crossbow. That was terrible. All right, got some some health back. Almost at full. That was close. Nice and efficient. I do not regret using the um, Vulcan cannon there. Oh. Some ammo right now would be nice. Um, let's try the box on this room. Try to fire from it and cancel itself, which I guess makes sense. If a box shoots, you probably know something is up, no matter how dim you might be. Did it recharge over time, or was it just really low cost? Okay. Not sure what it does exactly. It doesn't seem to do anything. Does the enemy still see me? And it's not time, it's based on damage. It seems to be just a little bit of it doesn't seem to require all that much. Which makes sense since it doesn't seem to be particularly useful. Uh, I want more ammo. Minded to have the supply drop. Oh, nice. Let's refill the crossbow with that. Next one we'll probably use on the Vulcan cannon. Unless I manage to empty the crossbow again before, before then. Alright, probably could have avoided getting hit there, but half half a heart isn't too bad. I 
I hate when I get stuck on walls. Oh. Well, that was dumb of me. We found a chest room. No fuse, fortunately enough, because we don't have a key. So we haven't found the shop yet. So we might be able to buy one. We do have. Now, that was another bit of dumb damage from my part, or on my part. Oh. Didn't know there was one left. Dang it. Uh, we do have... Quite a bit of money. Nice, got a free blank, and here's the shop. Uh, did we have... We have that chest there, and then we seem to have one here. We only have a single key available. So I'm going to buy that. We hopefully will find more keys. Dang it. I am definitely going to open the green chest first. Ooh. Betrayer's shield. Actually a gun. Oh. That's interesting. Generates a protective shield upon reload. Blockner lost his knighthood when he betrayed Sir Manuel. But he did not lose his gun. He did that much later. Oh. That is intriguing. Seems to be kind of like a machine pistol. And we are facing the ammo conda. So Yep. Ow. There goes the flawless. Oh. I kind of expected it to be a shield around me. Oh, dang it. That was terrible. But I guess it kind of more works like a cover that doesn't block or prevent you from walking through it. It just stops bullets until it breaks. Not quite what I was expecting. Um, probably what got me confused it said, is it said it creates a shield around you. I think that's what it said. Let's have a look just to be sure. Oh, it doesn't it didn't. Generates a protective shield. Okay. So I guess it was just my expectation that tripped me up. Let's buy that. And hopefully they will restock. Soon, probably before the next, or in time for the next episode. Let's see how many conjurers we have left. Six. That should be pretty simple. I might even do that manage that uh, in between episodes in my practice runs but yeah so that's going to be today's episode so I will see you in the next one